What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Keegan, of course. And in today's video, we're going to be trying a restaurant that has absolutely no reviews. I was looking around on Yelp last night trying to find a restaurant that we should actually try that looks very interesting. And I actually came across this restaurant right here, as you guys can see. It's called The Burger Den. It has absolutely no reviews, which in my opinion, you don't see that too often. Most restaurants have at least one or two reviews. And looking at these pictures right here, these burgers actually look extremely good. Like this one right here and this one right here, it's, it's like it has onion rings on it. I think we might just have to get that one. And the owner of the business posted these pictures on their Yelp page eight months ago. So, so it's pretty odd they don't have no reviews yet. Even on their Uber page, they don't have any reviews. They are a two money sign, which looking at their burgers, $16, $19, $19, $18, $18, the burgers are a little expensive, not even gonna lie, they're on the higher end side. But hopefully if they taste as good as they look, they'll definitely be worth it, 100%. But now here's the hard part, figuring out which burger to actually try. Looking down their menu, they got a good amount of options, 100% beef burgers, chicken burgers, not gonna lie, this fired up burger looks pretty good. What I think we're gonna end up choosing to do though, is gonna be build my own burger. It's $16.73, which is probably one of the lower cost items on the menu but we're gonna get exactly what we want on the burger not just a bunch of random stuff starts out if i want no lettuce no onions no pickles no tomatoes honestly guys i don't like pickles on burgers at all i'm definitely taking pickles off i don't think pickles belong on burgers you guys do argue with me down in the comments below i love to know your guys's opinion i think we gotta go classic american hopefully it's slightly melted when it does show up that'd be amazing add toppings get to choose out the seven so that's pretty cool i think we gotta go with the caramelized onions barbecue sauce mayo, bourbon sauce, ranch, and might as well go with the all-American sauce. Everything except jalapenos pretty much. And I think that's all we're gonna get. Placing the order right now, it's saying it should take about 40 minutes to 55 minutes to get here to the house, which that seems like an average time ordering from these apps, almost an hour long. I am gonna start a timer up to see how long it actually takes to get here from the house because right now it's 11 57 and it's saying the estimated arrival time is 12 45 the latest arrival time is 1 15 so let's see how long it takes to get here to the house three weeks later so the food is finally here after almost an hour wait all right so the food just got here and it ended up taking 51 minutes which seems extremely long to me oh, but let's pull it out <laughs> And let's actually see if it tastes good. Let's go. We're opening it together. There we go. And honestly, you can't really see much yet. It actually smells pretty good. I know there's barbecue on it, so maybe that's what we're smelling. First look at the burger though. Juicy burger looks like. Uh, not gonna lie, when I ordered this, I thought they were gonna put the ranch on the burger. That's what I thought the ranch was for. I guess it's just for the fries. Yeah. But either way, it's all good. Definitely a saucy burger. Like, I kind of wish they would have gave me some napkins. I like a saucy burger, but damn. You got bread, lettuce, tomato, onion, patty, and then, oh crap, it's already dripping. The sauce everywhere. I don't even, I'm just gonna take a straight bite. Let's get right into it. Oh good. Oh man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh good, burger. Right when I took the bite, the sauces, the juices from the meat, all just a literally exploded in your mouth. Like so far, that's a damn good burger. I, all the sauce that we ended up putting on there, there was the all American, the barbecue, the mayo. They they all go together so much better than I literally expected. Definitely gotta go in for a second bite, just cause. And literally after the sauces destroy your mouth, the onions, the tomato, that all comes in like secondary. It's like a second line. Like it's very very weird but it tastes so good just as good as the first bite literally that's a good burger that's weird how it does that the sauces the meat then the lettuce and everything yeah. that's so weird when i found this restaurant last night on yelp and it had zero reviews honestly i was not expecting good food you really don't know what to expect from a zero rating restaurant like it could be very good like this one's pretty good I, uh, so far it's been pretty good or it could be pretty bad like some other restaurants we have tried in the past but so far this is a damn good burger really thinking about it as i was waiting for this burger to arrive pictures we looked at in the beginning of this video they had onion rings and all that on the burger with looking back at it those weren't even on the menu so that was kind of just dis the one disappointing thing that i've came up with this restaurant so far i actually wanted to try the onion ring burger but it is what it is we're gonna put the burger to the side right now and i actually want to try the fries with ranch that's so messy it's not even funny you can tell a lot in my opinion about a restaurant just tasting their ranch some restaurants got amazing ranch others it is what it is you know and the fries they're decent fries what was it? i call these pretty much like steakhouse fries pretty much steakhouse fries dipping in the ranch 
Oh my gosh. Everything's messy from this restaurant. A basic fry. Definitely be a little warmer. That's probably because we did order it. It did get delivered. In-house though, if it's a legit restaurant, if it's not one of those ghost restaurants, these fries probably taste a lot better when they're a lot warmer. I am going to try just a basic fry though. No sauce, no nothing. Just to see what the seasoning is on the fry. It reminds me of the fair. Literally, it, I don't I don't know what. Probably a little pepper, a little salt. You can definitely taste the salt. But it really reminds me of like a fair fry. Normally, those are pretty greasy. These are not as much. They do got a little grease. There's some grease in the box. But definitely good overall. And it's weird now since I'm going to be like the very first person to rate actually rate this restaurant. So I am going to go leave a review. I think it's only fair since they did give me pretty good food actually. Overall, burger was great. Fries were good. The ranch, I'd say above average. Not going to lie. Better than some of these restaurants out there definitely gonna give this restaurant a solid four and a half you know i don't know what perfect burgers are i don't know what perfect fries are so i think a four and a half is a very solid rating i think a big reason why it can't be a five star is definitely the price 16 dollars for a burger you know even with inflation nowadays and everything i still think it's ridiculously high you know you put this at a 12.99 11.99 i think that's a solid price honestly deduct it three four dollars maybe even five dollars you know even maybe 9.99 you're gonna sell a lot of it it's it's very good food for definitely four and a half star definitely but i am gonna end this video off right here if you guys do enjoy these types of videos let me know down in the comments below everyone make sure to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time